Dude, what's your problem? I mean, I mean when it comes to real estate investing, not like what's your problem, but what's your problem when it comes to real estate investing? If you said something like, I don't know how to pick the best investment properties, then you're not alone, okay? It's one of the most common things that puts people off investing altogether. When you consider the risks involved, is it really any surprise? I don't think so. Picking good investments requires having a solid strategy to rely on. Now, what you're gonna get in this video isn't just one strategy. That just wouldn't be juicy enough. I gotta give you more than that, right? You want the meat and potatoes. Instead, I'm gonna share with you my top three, uno, dos, tres, three strategies, the very same strategies that we've used to help hundreds of our clients, including ourselves, to build a life of economic independence through real estate. There's no distractions, no tricks, just three solid strategies that will help you pick only the best investments from here on in. Now, by the time you reach the end of this video, you're gonna have gained enough market insight to start making better choices around your investment activities. There'll be no more flying blindly. Instead, you're gonna be able to take clear and decisive action to grow your investment portfolio in ways you could only dream of before, okay? It's time to cut through the noise and get down to business. Let's get down to business. You know that song? It's by Eminem. Let's get down to business. Um, it's time to share with you the strategies that are gonna change your life for the better. Are you ready? I'm here to deliver. Let's go. Okay, so this video is gonna share strategies, sure, but but I wanna warn you that these strategies may feel uncomfortable. That's right, you, you might, might get, get a little, little squirmy in your, in your chair. chair, but I promise I'm here to help you take real meaningful action, okay? So I would do you a disservice if I share comfortable little strategies like buy good, good deals and make, make money or some crap like that. That's not what we're gonna do, okay? You're about to get the real real, is that all right? All right, so the first strategy that I'm gonna share with you uh, is this. When it comes to picking awesome real estate deals, don't do it yourself. I feel like there should be some reverberation. Don't, don't do, do it, it yourself, yourself. So, self, so, self, so. right? Let someone else do it, okay? Now, let me tell you why this is important. We, we say this all the time. We're like, if you want something done right, don't do it yourself. I'm a big believer in that. It's something that we've done in real estate for a long time, but it's something that I've allowed to kind of bleed over into other aspects of my life. Because I um, I thought, like, I like to pretend like I'm really handy and like I could do, do stuff, stuff around, around the house. house. Give me a ladder and a hammer and I'm good to go. But it's not reality. We got this new house a couple years ago that we moved into and all of the outlets throughout the house were like this dingy yellow color. And I wanted to change them all to bright, pretty white, okay? So you know what I did is I went around and I changed some outlets and, and I changed a handful of them. And I was feeling real good about myself. I was like curving the copper wire around the screw, right? Like that's a thing I knew how to do. And um, it was all fine and good until one day we had one of our outlets that kept tripping and kept triggering and I didn't know what to do and I tried to fix it and it wasn't working. So I finally called an electrician. The electrician comes out and, and the reason I hadn't called an electrician is because I was being a cheapskate, right? I was like, I don't want to pay to have somebody do something that I could just do myself. And he came out and he took a look at the work that I'd done and he said, did you do these? And I said, yeah, I did those. He's like, this is why I should come out and do them. So one of the outlets, it was not working in my daughter's room. And my daughter, bless her little heart, she is terrified of house fires, like so scared. Well, I had done this one outlet so poorly that I was in, in desperate need of, of fixing because it was about, it could have sparked and set her room on fire. And that was such a big wake up call for me. I thought that I knew enough, right? I thought that I'd read enough, I'd watched enough YouTube videos that I could go and do it on my own come to find out I was completely messing it up. So I had to pay this electrician to come out and make sure that all of our outlets were okay. Now, why do I share that story with you? Because the reality is, if you want something done right, don't do it yourself. Let somebody who is an expert at the thing that you're trying to do, do it for you, okay? In my opinion, it works far better if somebody who spends their life dedicated to doing a thing is doing it for you instead of you trying to figure it out, okay? That is the first thing I wanna share with you today. If you want something done right, don't do it yourself, okay? Number two is this. Stop spending money on gurus and start investing in guides. 
there's a difference between a guru and a guide. I remember being at a mastermind uh, once with, I was in San Diego, I was at this mastermind, and I met this guy named Dean Cardinal. Uh, maybe it's Cardinale, I don't, I don't know, but you should look him up, okay? This guy had summited Everest and led others up on Everest on multiple occasions. Uh, now, if you've ever seen the movie Everest, you know the one with Jake Gyllenhaal and Josh Brolin, who coincidentally were also big time bad guys in Marvel movies, don't know how that works, but it's this true story and it's terrifying. Like if you, if look, if I was, I'm not gonna climb Everest, okay? But if I was ever going to climb Everest, um, I'd go with somebody like Dean, because I've seen movies like Everest and I'm terrified, because he's done it. He's done it multiple times and he knows what to expect. A and Dean goes with you, right? Imagine if all I did, Dean wrote a book about somebody in Everest. Imagine if all I ever did was read Dean's book. And imagine maybe I could even pay Dean for coaching, right? And he'd be like, this is all the things you have to do. And imagine if after reading a book and hearing some coaching, I just went out to Everest and I was like, I got this guys, <laughs> let's go. I don't even know where to find a Sherpa. I think that's one thing you have to do. So if I were to do that, just like in the movie Everest with Jake Gyllenhaal and Josh Brolin, I'd probably die. Oops, spoiler alert. I'm pretty sure somebody dies in Everest. But I would not do that. You don't want a guru. You don't want somebody that tells you what to do. You want somebody to do it with you, okay? That's a big difference between a guru and a guide. That's what a lot of gurus do though, right? They sell you all kinds of information based on the fact that they're super cool and way smarter than you and they're super successful and you're not. Then you're supposed to take all that information and go duplicate the same results, right? Wrong! Okay, that is not how it works. I done heard about the man that done had done lots of that real estate right there. He didn't did have that education. I bet you buy that education, you be both a bajillionaire like he is. Thanks, Uncle Cletus. Now go sit over there and drink another juice box. Now you want to work with someone. Don't just learn from someone, okay? In fact, there's a video on our channel. We've linked it below. It's called An Expert Investor Explains Why Most Investing Models Suck, where I ran about some of these gurus and their models. You should go check it out. We'll link that video uh, just down below so you can go check it out. Now is that time you love when we all get to gather together on a quiet little blanket while Uncle Kev tells you a story. See, once upon a time, there was a little boy or girl who looked amazingly just like you. This amazing little human shared this exact YouTube channel with their friends and family. And now their friends and family are all successfully investing in real estate and own multiple homes that generate thousands of dollars of income. Because this little boy or little girl just like you decided to share this beautiful little channel with all their loved ones, they are now the favorite in the family. And their mom has stopped criticizing their life choices. See, listen, and that little boy or little girl could be you. Wouldn't it be nice if you were the one in the family who was the hero because you changed a generation thanks to the amazing real estate information that you're hearing right here? Now look, I'm kidding, of course. I'm sure your mom doesn't criticize your life choices, right? Uh, but really, I just wanna say thank you for watching and being part of our little real estate family here. And I hope you are sharing it with people that you love. You know, this channel, it's all about showing you the tips and the tricks for getting started in real estate investing. We wanna help you win and make new millions in real estate or hundreds of thousands or thousands or whatever you want to do, right? That's what we're here for. And so what we do is we share videos about how you can replace your income so that you can retire early and create generational wealth for your family. So your mom stops criticizing your life choices because if you're rich, she won't, right? Is that, I think it stops then. I, I don't know, who knows? It didn't for me. <laughs> now, if you want to find out how to find the best properties for sales channels for you, if you want to find out which markets give you the biggest return on your investment, especially in a recession, this channel's for you. If you want to set your family up for success with wealth that outlives you, this channel is for you. So like the little boy or girl who shared it with their family and became the family hero, you should like this video and subscribe to the channel and share it with anybody and everybody that you love because you love them and this content is awesome. Don't you wanna share something that's awesome with somebody else that's awesome? Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so strategy number three is this. You've heard me say it before, I'm gonna say it again. Stop swinging for the fences, okay? Start hitting solid real estate singles. Now, the reason why I reiterate this is because it is so critically important that you shift from a mindset of hitting massive home runs, okay? And here's the thing, even before you can hit a single, you've gotta get off the bench. Now, here's what I mean by that, okay? You gotta get off the bench and get to the plate before you even start hitting singles. And this is why 
what we want you to do is take the information in these videos and start actually doing something with it, okay? Let me give you a little example. Now, let me actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remind you of what it means to hit singles, then I'm gonna come back and tell you exactly what you need to do. Now, what it means to hit singles and to get off the bench is this. You will never create wealth in real estate if you never invest in real estate, okay? If all you ever do is think about it, if all you ever do is wonder about it, if all you ever do is dream about it, if all you ever do is subscribe to YouTube channels about it, if all you ever do is watch every video on TikTok and Instagram and all of the things where everybody else is talking about real estate, but you never do real estate, you're never gonna make money in real estate. So what I want you to do is take action. And if you take action when you get to that plate, don't do what so many other gurus do and tell you that you've got to hit a home run. You have to send it and it's got to go out of the park and you've got to make billions of dollars right away on your first deal. Don't do that. Just go hit singles, stack micro wins, go do small, seemingly insignificant things, but that are worthy of action and that when done, stack up over time to create incredible results. Now, I'm going to give you one of those right now that you can do, okay? This is the first to do that I'm going to give you so that you can get off the bench and get in the game. You ready for it? I want you to click the link in the description below and go sign up for something that is brand new and absolutely amazing called the Daily Fastball. This is a completely free service. Now, the reason we call it the Daily Fastball is these are investment properties pitched right to you so you can connect and get on base. Now, in case you didn't know, we at DFY Real Estate, we have experts on the ground hunting down and vetting the best real estate deals available right now in this country. And you know what they're finding? They're finding that there's an abundance of single family homes in safe, clean, desirable neighborhoods set in growing popular locations, just sitting there waiting for someone like you to scoop them up and hit a real estate single. In fact, there's so many screaming deals out there right now that I could send you one every day of the week, like Monday through Friday, I could send you a deal. You want that? Well, with that being the case, tell me, would you like to see these hand-selected, extensively vetted deals for yourself right on your phone? If so, I'm excited to introduce you to this brand new free service. It's called the Daily Fastball. Here's how it works. I want you to click the link in the description below. And when you sign up for the Daily Fastball, every day we'll send you a text of a new investment property that's investable that you could purchase. It's been identified and vetted for you. Every single property we send you is as sure of a thing as it can become. And if, if a property we text you catches your eye, you can book a game plan call with us. We can jump on a call and show you exactly how to go and hit this real estate single, okay? That's what we wanna do, but it's important that you get off the bench and that you take some action. So go click the link below, sign up for the Daily Fastball, and realize that you may just be one or two texts away from your first investment property where you can finally hit your first real estate single, get off the bench and start doing something absolutely amazing with your real estate portfolio. We'll see you real soon.